Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Nicholas Zart signing in for Car News Cafe, and today we are with Mike, Mike Tinsley, who is with Ford, because I'm not going to say the whole um, title. Anyway, but Mike is behind the project of the C-Max um, Energy with the solar uh, panel on top of it, and we're very excited to be here, and we just wanted to hear a little bit about why is it so important for Ford, why are you guys working on that, and then we'll have a bunch of other questions, but sure, take it sure. away. Sure, so behind me is the C-Max Solar Energy concept. Um, it's basically a C-Max Energy, which uh, you may probably know it's a plug-in hybrid. We it's test drove it, by the way. We loved it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> it gets uh, it gets 21 miles all electric range and then up to 620 miles of gasoline. So what we did is we recognized that there was a lot of great trends happening in the solar space relative to both the efficiency improvements and in terms of the cost going down. So we thought the time was right to start looking at can we get enough energy from solar to actually put a meaningful power into the into the traction battery or into the battery of the vehicle versus, as you probably know, some of the other past attempts have been just to cool the cabin. Right. So this is what the C-Max Solar Energy is. We put a one and a half square meters of uh, SunPower X21 cells on the roof. Um, we, our modeling has showed us that we get about a quarter of a charge uh, in here in the, in the LA region. That's fantastic. So, which is great, right? So um, that was our first step, but we really wanted to see how, how do we take, take it even further? Can we get a full charge? And that's where we brought Georgia Tech in to say, is there any new ways that we can concentrate power on top of the roof and actually get a full charge in one day? And that's what we did. We came up mm -hmm. with a, a basically, I think of it as a solar canopy, that it's a concentrator that takes the, lot, the sun, concentrates that energy down to an 8x multiplier on top of the sun, fantastic. on top of the vehicle. And <laughs> at the end of the day, we get our full eight kilowatt hours of, uh, of power. That's fantastic. What, so in practicality terms, when do you think we could see something like that out on the streets? When can people actually expect to be able to have that, including the carport? Yeah, I mean, we're calling it a concept because we don't have everything figured out. I would say that um, the trends are right. So we're seeing the trends on the cost side and on the efficiency side that are enabling this. Clearly, electrification is growing. Clearly, electrification is the enabler because you can store that energy on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, but then when you move even further into the infrastructure side, it gets more conceptual at that point because you've got some other challenges, right? You've got to make sure that you track the sun. You've got to make sure that it stays safe under all conditions. And so um, I can't give you a specific time, but I can tell you that we continue to work on it. Fantastic. Well, I love it. I drove the C-Max uh, hybrid from uh, Los Angeles to San Francisco. I was this short for making it with a full gas of tank because we had a lot of headwind, but I love test driving the energy and also the focus, uh, the sorry, the fusion energy. So we're really excited to see that and I'm, I'm, I've been writing a lot about it and I'm excited to, um, to finally get to talk to you about it. Oh, great. Thanks for having me and thanks for coming. Super. Thank you very much. And this is Nicholas Zart signing off for Car News Cafe.